Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cow's Lips here. This series was recorded here in our classroom with actual students. You just get to listen in. We are using curriculum from Christian Light Education, and this is Language Arts 7, Book 1. Okay, Language Arts 7, Lesson 12, Apostrophes in Possessive Words. We're talking about nouns that have possession, but before we go into that, let's do some review. What are the nominative case personal pronouns? I'll give you one. I... You, you, he, he, he she, she, it, it, it we, we, we they. they. Good. You. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Those are the nominative case personal pronouns. A pronoun has a word that it, there's always a word in the sentences that the pronoun refers to. What do we call that word? The word that a pronoun refers to. Noun. It's a noun. But, so a pronoun takes the place of a noun. What do we call that noun that the pronoun takes the place of? Listen to this. David gave his men some water. His is referring to... David gave his men some water. His is referring to... What's the big word we call it? Adjective. Antecedent. It starts with an A. The antecedent of the pronoun is the word that the pronoun is referring to, referring back to. David gave David's men some water. David gave his men some water. His is referring back to David as an antecedent. Okay, uh, give me some adjectives to describe a uh, box. Oh, suppose I have a box. Give me some adjectives. Big. Big. A. A. B. Some from you. Adjectives to describe a box. Uh, the. Box. The. Do you have any? Mm. How was that? Little. Little. Good. Little. Red. Orange. Okay, give me some adverbs. Adverbs to describe the way the horse is running. The horse is running quickly. Quickly. Any others? Think of how, when, or where. Outside. Yesterday. Things like that. Uphill. Toward town. Toward town, a direction. All right, those are adjectives modify, uh, those are adverbs. Adverbs modify verbs. They tell how, when, where, and to what degree. Adjectives modify nouns and pronouns. They tell which, whose, how many, and what kind of. Never forget that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you, I was looking ahead at your test, and it looks like the first section of your test, well, it wasn't actually your test. Hmm. I still think you're gonna have to do it on the test. You have to say, is this word an adjective? Is this word an adverb? Is this word, what is it? And pick out all those different words. Okay, the lesson today is quite short. There's not too much to it. It has to do with how we show ownership, how we make possessive nouns. Um, we have ownership. Possession means that we own something, and something is mine. This can be my coffee mug. But instead of saying my coffee mug, we say Kyle's coffee mug. Or we could say Joshua's handkerchief, or we could say Mr. John's beard. We can use possession for all of these different things. Now, generally in correct English, things can only have possession if they are alive and animate. That means animate means moving. So people and animals can have possession. We don't say, I looked up at the house's roof. That's not considered correct English. I looked at the roof, at, I looked at the roof of the house. But you can say, I saw the raccoon's tail, because a raccoon is animate, it's moving, it's alive and, and moving. So technically that would be the only time to use possession is for animate objects. I don't think we're really talking about that today, but I made sure but my, my objects up here are all animate. animate. Okay, let's go over them. Very simply, if, a, if the noun you're talking about does not end in S, add this, add apostrophe S. If the noun you're talking about does end in S, add an apostrophe. That is all you have to remember, except Moses and Jesus, and look out for Dorcas. But, if the noun ends with, does not end with S, put apostrophe S. If the noun does end with S, put an apostrophe on the end. So, mice, to make it plural, we go, apostrophe S. For Jesus, here's the ones we have to look out for. Jesus and Moses are the only ones that end with apostrophe. They're all, uh, wait. Wait, are these the ones that we do put the apostrophe S on? Yes, these only get an apostrophe. 
They end with S, and so they fall under this, this same rule as this, that they only get an apostrophe. However, Jesus and Moses are exceptions, and the reason we need to look out for Dorcas is because she does not end with this exact sound. For names, every single name, if we make it possessive, we put apostrophe S, no matter what letter it ends with, we put apostrophe S if it's a name. However, the names Jesus and Moses end with this Zus sound at the end of them, so we don't want to have to go Jesus's, but we can say Dorcas's, that's okay. But Jesus, apostrophe, to show that he possesses something. So for Jesus, we just put an apostrophe, but for Dorcas, over here we've got her, for Dorcas, we actually put an apostrophe S to make it plural. It looks really strange, but only the apostrophe comes for, for Jesus. And Moses, he's the other exception, those two people. All right, oxen, make it plural. Oxen. Apostrophe S. Dogs, I mean not plural, possessive. Apostrophe S. Dogs, make it possessive. Three <laughs> dogs, puppies. Just put an apostrophe. Moses. Apostrophe. Moses' rod. A girl. Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. All right. If it does not end with S, put apostrophe S. If it does end with S, just put apostrophe, unless you have Dorcas. Boys. Apostrophe. Apostrophe. Dorcas, we did. Rabbit. Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. And zebras. Blesses. Apostrophe. Okay. If it ends with S, just put an apostrophe, unless it is a name that does not end with a sound Zus. It's really very simple. Not a whole lot to remember. Carry on with your work.